We have VIP access to the Tesla Semi and they're fixing uh, amazing stuff for us. We're in the Semi, bro. This is actually a very comfy seating position. And the weird thing is, every truck you see has two seats. But this has just one in the middle, actually. We see a dual screen setup. And you see your tire pressure and your side screen mirror. Uh, and this is just your regular interface as you, if you come closer, you see here, it has a truck logo. Kind of the dimensions are a little bit weird, right? That's a little bit strange. Okay, so we have the same wireless charging here. We have the two USB outlets, big storage area. But look at the space here. We also have the interior cabin camera, just as like we see with the Hardware 3, Hardware 4 cars. And we do have the steering wheel stocks. So not like the new Model 3, but we do have the old school stocks. And what's this? Is this the camera? Or is this the camera buttons for the side view mirrors? Okay. Is there something in the menu? From the inside, this is just like a regular Tesla is. But I think, and we're gonna have a test drive later on today. And with the test drive, we can see how easy it is to actually maneuver this car or truck. This thing is huge, man. Of course, every Tesla has eight cameras surrounding, right? But this whole body, the whole form factor is completely different. So we have one camera over here and then one here underneath and one on the side. In the front, we have as well an additional camera that's here. And we have as well the three cameras set up there on the top. So did we count? We have three on each mirror. So we have then six, we have a seventh and we have three on top. So we have a 10 camera setup. Yeah, and that's actually very different from any other Tesla out there. Isn't it disappointing that if you look at the, the windshield wiper, the one on the Cybertruck is even bigger. So they, they could have done a better job. And then I was thinking, do we have a frunk in this car actually? I just asked if we can open the trunk because I want to see if I actually can fit inside here. But look at, okay, I'm a small guy, but this thing is pretty fucking huge. It might be top secret because they're not going to open it for me. We're at the supercharger. Oh no, wait. This is a mega pack charger. Mega it's super duper. Mega super duper charger. It kind of looks like the V4 supercharger is being installed right now. But look at this. We got this insane plug, doesn't look anything like CCS because a Tesla Semi has a battery size of 900 kilowatt hours. So that's nine times as much as your uh, Model S or Model X has in the long range version. So you need to charge that thing rapidly. You will get the job done by using this mega pack charger. It goes 750 kilowatts an hour. It will still take you a couple of hours to fully charge this beast, but we're gonna see a whole lot of this infrastructure here. But even, and this is still what amazes me by Tesla, the thickness of this cable. Like this isn't even that thick. That's what she said. <laughs> But if you compare it to EMBW or Ionity, they use this big ass cables and Tesla can fix a 750 kilowatt hour charger with just this thin a cable. And that keeps on striking me. Everything they touch is pure engineering marvel. So trucking industry, fucking watch your back bro. Okay, what are we looking at? Tesla is new to the whole engineering game when it comes to trucking, right? Well, this piece that you see here, this is a dual motor electric setup of the first rear axle. The front axle isn't powered and you have the last axle also has one engine. So it's actually like the plaid, it's a tri-motor setup. This beast uh, combined with the huge battery pack will get you like 800 kilometers on a single charge they're gonna do exactly the same as they did before with the model 3 
It was the best production car in history. Model Y, best-selling electric SUV. The Model S and Model X Plaids, cars with 1,120 horsepower, going 322 kilometers per hour. Cyber Beast, Cyber Truck. Well, with the Semi, this is an actual beast. Every time they release a new product, it not only outperforms on range, it outperforms on efficiency, it outperforms on top speed, it outperforms on acceleration, and to be honest, it outperforms on day-to-day, -day, every use practicality. Tesla is on top of their fucking game, and this is yet another example of this. Where does it end? Join us, stay tuned, and we're gonna blow you away with great content. And we are excited to come along with everybody else here in moving towards the zero emission future and accelerating the world to sustainable energy and transportation. The future is electric. Thank you very much.